All right, MT-8 on the porch with part two of the Sony case and what I did to modify it. Um, it's not pretty by any means. Come on. Um, I didn't really care if it was going to be pretty because I can always buy another case and redo it. But a lot of things I'm noticing with the video on this, and I'm going to post that video right after this video. Um, it's my ride home, and it will be the actual first test with the Sony mic plugged into the case, and the entire video is all Sony. at 50% done yesterday. I am now at about probably 90% done. Actually the only thing left I got to do is put the plug in here and silicone it up somewhat. They did this uh, Velcro thing. Now what I did is I put a piece of Velcro on the front Remember, I took that bottom case off of there, or the bottom crank, and uh, I got to do something while I got this off. In this video, you're going to see some reflections in it. Now, I don't think this case is the best because I'm seeing a lot of reflections in it when I use it. So anyway. I cut that piece of the uh, plastic out. I cut that half piece off there. It's mounted in there. There's the ugly hole. Well, like I said, um, if it's raining, I'm not going to use this camera. Then the next thing you do is push the camera in. Push that tang in. I put that piece of Velcro there so it doesn't slide up and down. Make sure you're holding it tight. And then put the Velcro around it. This is uh, adhesive Velcro, so I just left the white on it. Keep it from being sticky. And the other thing I made sure I did was cut it long. So you can peel it up. So that's number one. Asshole. Second thing is, uh, I had to use the plug I wanted. You can't use a straight plug. You have to use a 90 degree plug, which is like this. And when it's in, and on the helmet, then you're going to have to reach up in there, find the hole because you can't see it, and then push the mic up in there. So the mic's installed, it's up in there, and that's the other reason I had to make the hole bigger, was to be able to get that square plug into the round hole. You guys know what I mean. And then to take the camera out, that's the square hole I'm talking about, the booting around it. I probably could have trimmed it down, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm getting pretty adept at putting this plug in and out. So there basically you have it. I've got the wire run underneath one of my mice, and then it's Velcroed over here. And then it runs down here and it goes up into the helmet. So that's how you do it. It's not pretty. I don't really care about pretty. 
because I'll have enough shit on top of that helmet that you're not going to really see it. But I wanted to get this done before I started getting ready for Halloween with the Halloween decoration. So, MT-8, port, Sony Action Cam, how to mod it. So you can use the sound. Um, you guys come up with a better way? Let me know. Because I'll buy another case and do it again. So, Alright, talk to you later.